Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I want to show you how we can create either a 32-bit or a 64-bit Conda environment just from a single 64-bit Conda installation. So on my computer, I've got the 64-bit version of Anaconda installed. You can see the Anaconda prompt open behind me. And I've used that to create a few environments already. And because I haven't changed any of, set, any of the settings in my Anaconda, they'll all be 64-bit environments. And there's a good way to check that. You can see I've used Conda and List to create these environments, and it shows you the folders that they're stored in. If I go into one of these folders, so GDAL env is the name of one of my environments, scroll down to the python.exe, double click that, and you can see in the first line, this version of Python is 64-bit. So we want to use the 64-bit version of Anaconda to create a 32-bit Conda environment. And the way we can do that is to set an environment variable. So we're going to use the set command and then type conda underscore force underscore 32 bit, all capital letters, equals 1. So set is a Windows command which basically sets an environment variable for the time that this command prompt is open. So after I close this and open a new one, this variable won't actually exist. So we can see, just to check all of our environment variables, we can type the command set and hit enter. So I should be able to scroll up here and see conda force 32-bit is equal to 1. So while I can see that in my command prompt, that means that conda is going to behave in a 32-bit way. So now when I create a new environment, just using the normal conda create dash n, we'll just call this one um, n underscore 32 bit, hit enter, and I'll skip past all loading bits here, hit yes, and now so we have a new 32 bit environment created, let's activate it. using activate n for 32 bit and that environment's going to be empty so I'm just going to go conda install python and proceed cool now that's all done let's go up to my environments folder and you can see I've got a new environment called n 32 bit Let's come into there and scroll down to my Python, double click that, and we can see in this check on the first line, our Python is the 32-bit version. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, any questions, add them down below. Thanks very much.